Hi there. Um, so we're on Veda number five, and today Declan and I are going to get dressed soon, and we're going to head over to my sister's house and spend some time there because with all the construction going on in the in our basement, it's been very loud. And uh, yesterday I stayed home all day, figuring <clears throat> I can get things done, but the the noise was just insane, which is fine because I'm very happy to have a new playroom being built. And I cannot wait because this living room just has toys everywhere, which it's still going to have with the new baby and everything. But I feel like the playroom is really going to give us more of a modern day look to this living room so we can have our children's look in the basement <laughs> and have it all set up. But anyway, so um, I figured today, since I'm not a pro, but I have been through a lot of bottles for Declan to figure things out. And then I know with the new baby, I'm going to be figuring out some more because it's probably going to be different or it could be the same. That would be great, too. Um, this video actually is to show you what I found and then also in hopes that you can also give me some opinions or ideas because I'm open for all ideas to make this easy um, for the new baby and for Declan. So anyway, so I'll start with the baby bottles. Um, when I first had Declan, I was breastfeeding, and I breastfed for a good six months. Turns out I didn't have enough, I was not producing enough on my left breast. So because I wasn't producing enough on my left breast, I had to do half and half, half bottle and half breast. It seemed to work really well. He went with both. I know they say a lot of babies will pick one, and that's it. And then they don't pick it, you know, they don't want the other. But Declan was really good. He did both breast and bottle, so I was very thankful for that because I didn't want to stop breastfeeding when I first, you know, when I found out I had less milk than I had anticipated. I thought I was going to have enough and not have to worry about it. But thankfully, knock on wood, it worked. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with the new baby because now at least I'm aware, so I don't think I'm going to get as much screaming and crying as I did in the beginning with the poor baby who we, it took us a while to figure out that it was the milk. Anyway, um, so with the bottles, I had started with the Tommy Tippies. The Tommy Tippies have the anti-colic, um, let me get one of those because I thought they had one on me, but I did not. So the Tommy Tippy bottles are the anti-colic ones, and they are, and they have the, the the straws inside of them. So basically, they have this little straw inside of them. Very easy to clean. You just take it off, take it off. It is a pain, but it is easy. It comes with these bottles. Come with a little um, brush that you can clean them with. So you can put the brush inside and out, and then you can also put the brush inside this little hole here because that's part of the anti-colic as it sucks up. So what I found with this bottle is that <clears throat> it's small, so it was the baby was able to keep his hand, not as a newborn, obviously, but a few months in, he was able to hold it himself, and I would um, use my formula, and you put this cap on, and then you put the nipple on. And the nipple, I always stayed at number one, and even until Declan was over a year old, he always stayed at number one. He never really went to... The number two is the number two was a medium flow, and you know I bought them. He kind of dribbled them everywhere, so I kind of stayed with number one for a while. Um, so that's that. And then they have the smaller ones, the baby baby ones. So this one is only five ounces, whereas this one is nine ounces. This one has the straw. This one does not. So I was very. I didn't really give him this one because I really like the straw because the straw is for the anti colic. Granted, you still have to burp your baby, obviously. <coughs> Excuse me. You still have to burp your baby, but <coughs> at least you burped him less with this because of the straw. The straw really helped. But with this one, um, you, you kind of got a lot of the gas. Um, I'm going to turn this so you can get more of the, the bottles and show them all to you. So that's the bottles. I also tried something called uh, Como Tomo. Como Tomo is a bottle, a very good bottle. It feels like a real nipple, and this also feels like your breasts. I know it sounds silly, but honestly, it was really good because it does, if the baby is a full breastfeeding baby, it's really good because it feels like a mommy's breast. This is very soft. It bends, so you could push it in and out. Again, my only problem was, and it's not a problem, it's just I like the straw. There is no straw. So if you, and it measures, it has the measurements here. 
and you'll probably see them if you get closer. Um, when you uh, put the formula in here and you feed the baby, again, if the baby doesn't take to other bottles, this might be a good bottle to take to while breastfeeding or after breastfeeding or transferring out of breastfeeding, again, because it feels like a mom's boob. But, again, I liked the one with the straw. I did use this. I did have good... Um, good reviews on my end with it. I just had to burp them a little extra. So, you know, it's just, if you don't like the straws, if you do like the straws, it's, for me, I just, you know, I, it's not me. I like to burp. I don't mind burping my baby. I think it was more like I didn't want my husband to struggle. So I didn't give him those. I always gave him the ones with the straw inside, the Tommy Tippies, because then he didn't have to, he burped the baby, but it, he didn't have to go crazy because otherwise you get a lot of spit up. After Declan was a year old, I decided that we were going to try to wean him a little bit off of um, that bottle. So what we were doing was we were giving him his milk, um, his whole milk from one year. Well, he's almost, he's 20 months now, so he's he loves his milk right now. So we're in, I think it was at, because it was every two weeks I added two ounces of milk. So we would start with his eight ounces of formula and then it went to six ounces of formula, two ounces of milk, four ounces of formula, six ounces, four and four, and then four ounces of milk, four ounces of formula, two ounces, and so on and so forth. We, we lowered it until it was fully whole milk. <coughs> Once we got to the whole milk, these are the bottles we started using. My friend uh, Michelle had told me all about this, and these bottles I love. So now this is a Nook, N-U-K, Nook, Nook. I have a few of them. They're different designs. They have handles on them. You can add a little handle to it, which is pretty cool, I must say. And after he was fully into milk, I gave him these. These have a nice flow to them. Um, <clears throat> when he can chew on it, bite on it, see it could open, close. So <clears throat> this nipple was the closest to a regular bottle nipple. So... It's, it got really great reviews. My friend told me about it, so I totally bought it, and Declan was hooked. <coughs> he loves these nipples. Um, it's definitely a good change because a lot of babies, when you change them from a bottle to a sippy cup, they get very crazy because they don't like the feeling of it, the taste of it. So this is like your sippy cup, <coughs> but it makes them a big boy, but it also gives them the, the feeling of it still being a nipple from a bottle. Now, after a few months... <coughs> I figured, you know, I'm giving them juice now. Not juice, it's water, but I call it juice. It's just water right now. Sometimes I'll, I'll add a little bit of apple juice to it, but I know not to give them too much, so I try not to do that. <clears throat> anyway, so with transitioning here, this we've been sticking to these right now as purely milk in the morning and milk before bed. He gets one bottle in the morning and one bottle before bed, and I pretty much fill these up because this is a eight-ounce bottle, I believe. Might be nine. Then I started with this as his, I'll list all of these things, but this is a munchkin. This was for him to hold. He wasn't crazy about it. You have to like really bite down to suck out the juice. The only thing really good about it is it doesn't leak because these, if they lay here like this, at first they didn't leak, but I think from him using them so much, they, they kind of, it will be like an occasional drip, so... You definitely want to be careful with that. This one, if it falls over, nothing comes out of it, which is great, but he has a problem getting anything sucked out of it. So then I went to this one, figuring this one says that it's spill-proof and, and all that lovely stuff, so I tried this one, and especially because it's Mickey Mouse. Right, baby? You like your Mickey Mouse? He didn't like it. It spilled like crazy. It spilled. Every, don't touch that, baby. i got to show everybody. You can hold this. Um... <clears throat> This one has a big hole here, and it has a hole here to help with um, the air coming through, and it was it was just everywhere. He put this on his mouth, and the, and the water just spilled everywhere. So I wasn't really a fan of this, but if you want to try it, it says do not boil. It doesn't even tell me. I just got it in, like, stop, lot, your local stop and shop. Oh, it's called the first years. It didn't really work. So now our new happy, happy place... It are these these cups well yeah are these cups these are his you can get all different types Paw Patrol whatever these are munchkins munchkins are also for the first year you want mommy to open this I'll open it for you here you go 
He has nothing in there, silly. What are you doing, you silly boy? So this this bottle right here, this bottle. Let me just move all these out of the way. Okay. So this bottle is Declan's favorite at the moment. Again, the Nooks and UKs, the Nooks. They're his favorite for his milk, but with his juice and water, this is his favorite. So the Nook is, you take it apart, basically, when you, because you have to wash it for the first time. Obviously, always wash everything, sterilize, wash, whatever you need to do. So I'm going to show you what it looks like full, and then I'll explain this to you. Oh. Okay. So there's a few steps to putting it together, but again, I like it, so it's perfect for us. So now, when you close this bot, this this sippy cup, it clicks. So listen to that. See, it clicks into place. So this clicks in, so you know that it's secure. Again, it does drip because it's a straw. It's not, you know, it's 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 totally a <laughs> in a straw. So you're not going to get that suctioning, you know, you would get with nipples. But now that he's learned the art of sucking out of a straw, this is his favorite. It comes out slow, too. I've tried it. Where you suck on it, it's not like a full-blown straw where the, it comes up and you can choke on it. It's a straw that slowly, slowly the water will come out. Um, so now, if you hear the click, you unscrew it. The only thing is, is the first time you use it, you definitely want to... It says dishwasher use, but if you don't have a dishwasher, I have a sterilizer. I'll get to that. So there's three, four pieces to it. Um, you have this little straw that you can take out. And then it attaches to this little straw. This little straw is a little tricky because it's not straight through. This is what makes it a lighter flow. So when the baby sucks on it, it doesn't just go right through. So then, um, and then this is your straw underneath that goes here. And also this piece that holds the straw comes off. So when you wash it, you have to wash it in these four different pieces. So just so you know, you really do have to wash it all individually and whatnot, but it's worth it because he really, really, really loves it. So now, putting it together, you take your main squiggly straw, this straw just, you know, put it inside the hole at the top, let it come through, you attach it here. Then you're going to take the regular straw and put it inside there. Then up top, you're going to, there's a little hole here, you're going to attach it to the straw, put it in snap it in place and you can close it. So when it closes, it that's when it actually stops like leakage. Click it together. So now when it's closed <clears throat> and the baby drops it, it's fine. It's not going to drip. It's not going to come out. But once it's open, he's going to drink out of it. And if he drops it like that, yes, it's going to leak. But again, because my son is only 20 months old, he doesn't really understand the concept yet. Like if I tell him lift your juice, he'll grab it. But, and he's learning. He just taught himself to pretty much close it. But then he has a problem opening it because it is a little, for, for a 20-month-old, it's very hard to, to reopen. But once the kids get older, it's much easier for them. All right? But this is definitely, definitely my, my favorite for him almost turning two years old. So I would definitely recommend it for a two-year-old. And um, I bought these Tupperware cups because they're cute with these little lids. I'm sure a lot of you would remember these from years ago. I, uh, it's, he's definitely too young for it. So <clears throat> I did give it to a five-year-old to have them drink from it, and they loved it. And you can also use it as just a regular cup for kids when they're much older. And I, you know, Tupperware is Tupperware. It's always been very popular. And I think that's it. One more thing I want to show you is my sterilizer. I bought this Tommy Tippy sterilizer, and I fill it up. Um, you fill it up with your bottles. It has a holder. It has a holder inside of it. Um, it comes with a. Um, it's like a double layered holder. So you have this, and it holds each bottle. So each bottle fits into it, or nipples, or anything. And then you put it into this this uh, sterilizer. You fill up. The funny thing is, because it's a Tommy Tippy brand, the Tommy Tippy bottle will show you. A little extra line if you see this little extra these little extra dots those little extra dots is how much water you put in here to throw into the sterilizer in order for it to work so then you put that water in then you put the two grates together I'll show you oops I had stuff in here 
we take the two pieces. Let me move this out of the way. So this is what comes inside of it. You have your stick. So your stick goes into the middle piece of the bottom stack. Put that at the bottom and put this at the top. So then it double layers it. <coughs> so you put the water into the sterilizer. You, you stack this up. You put your bottles on the bottom like that. See, it fits perfectly because these are tiny tippy bottles. And then you put your nibbles on the top. Or you can put the smaller bottles. You know, whatever's comfortable for you. These pieces I just kind of throw around. I obviously take it apart. Throw it around, leave it like that. And then you put it in. You put it inside. The sterilizer. And then you have your sterilizers full and ready to go. The lids underneath, but I just put it here. Cover it. And then all you have to do is obviously after it's plugged in, you press this button. It will turn um, orange. And when it's done, it turns green. And that means it's done. Actually, it just shuts off too. And then as soon as it shuts off, you just, it's only like a five minute process too, which is great. Take this off, all done, and you are completely sterilized. A lot of people from years ago like to just boil their bottles. Um, I didn't mind doing that. I just really love the sterilizer. I think it came in very handy with Declan. I think it's going to come in very handy with the new baby, especially now preparing for it. All right. So that is that. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, and tomorrow, hopefully, I have all of my stuff in from Amazon, so I can get um, the rest of my, my um, stuff that I ordered from my hospital bag, and then we can do what I'm putting in my hospital bag. Enjoy your day, and I will see you tomorrow.